like water <sighs> with little squeezes. And they're like, is it all, your poem's all about lemon water? No. But still, though. About oat milk. Happy Rita Bush Day 3! Yeah. Cheers, my dears. Yeah. I'm going to finish my Gabba Christie this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Be fine. Yeah, I can. I could read a graphic novel if I wanted to catch up. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. yeah. Hi. <laughs> An unboxing. Oh my god. I got two packages. <gasps> this one is from Jessica. Yeah. Thank you. And this one I've bought myself, but I'm not 100% sure what it is. I think I know what it is. Should we go for the Jessica one first? I'm yeah. To hide our address as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We can't. I'm not paying money. Right, so Jessica's kindly sent this on. Thanks, Jessica. Yay! Because it's a. She's also doing the reading rush. Because it's a, it's a duplicate that I think her mum picked up somewhere and she already had it. Um, but bless her, it feels like it's quite a big box to send. She even packaged it well. Do you want a shot of that packaging? It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, it's. Oh is it wrapped? It's even wrapped. <laughs> you got a little, little, little card? A little card. Oh, gosh. How cute. Let's have a look. It's got little sloths yeah. on it. I love a sloth. Yeah. Yay. A little book on the back. Uh, stickers. So cute. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Stickers. <laughs> there's stickers in there, Bob. The stickers. You love stickers. I do. And this is radical. Totally awesome. Turn it there's around this moon, way. There's moving characters stickers. Oh oh, are they stickers? I'm not sure. They're amazing. They are stickers yeah. as well. Oh my gosh. The Rubik's cube. Yay! It's the Jean Ambert. Okay, so in here. Is oh, it's really nice. the box of great, great loves. loves. There's one missing, number 14 um, is missing apparently, but they feel like they fit in there pretty well, don't they? Yeah, it'd be hard pushed to fit another one in yeah. there. Yeah, should I just quickly tell you what they are? Yeah, I'm just undoing them. Okay, so these ones. So there's Virgil, Doomed Love, Forbidden Fruit from the Letters of Abelard and Heloise. Nice additions, aren't they? Yeah, they're lovely in there. Yeah. This is, and also I'm going to be like, I feel smarter already. Yeah. Holding them. Yeah. Giovanni Boccaccio. Boccaccio. Mm -hmm. Is that how I say it? Boccaccio. Boccaccio. The <laughs> Eaten Heart and Likely Tales of Love. Um... It's going to be too long. Casanova, no. Mistresses, Tigresses, and mm. Other Conquests. Beautiful. Cures for Love, Stendhal. I got that at the library at one oh, point, you? actually. I I've never, never read, read it. any yeah. Stendhal. I, I like some Stendhal. I, I mean, or any of the others. The Seducer's Diary by Soren Kierkegaard. Nice. Been meaning to read some Kierkegaard yeah. for a while. Big time. Ivan, Ivan? Ivan. Ivan. Turgenev, First Love. Oh, Nice. Thomas Hardy, A Mere Interlude. Nice. Leo Tolstoy, The Kreutzer Sonata. Beautiful. A Russian Affair by Chekhov. Gosh. I love a bit of Chekhov. Yeah. Deviant Love by Sigmund Freud. Nice. Yeah. Deviant Love. Scott Fitzgerald, Magnetism. Mm. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, that one sounds good. It does. Um, Catherine Mansfield, Something Childish but Very Natural. I good think title. This is yeah, is it your autobiography? Yes. <laughs> um, ha Mary by Nabokov. Lovely. Bonjour de Tristesse by Francois Sigal. Oh, Cigar. nice to have that. Yeah, I don't have that. Giovanni's Room, Baldwin. Which we've always wanted to read. Yep. Uh, Aeneas Nin, Eros and Bound. Gorgeous. I love a bit of Aeneas Nin. Yeah. Bodily Secrets by William Trevor. Oh, I love William Trevor. And the last one is John Updike, The Woman Who Got Away. Amazing. What a good selection, <gasps> Thanks, huh? Jessica. And then my other package. Do you know what's in here? I think so. I don't think it's going to be anything anyone's interested in. Right, Sorry, right. but, you know, build up. 
We Are the Luckiest by mm. Laura McEwen. The surprising magic of a sober life. That's awesome. How lovely. Um, so I wanted this for a while um, because I'd read... She's, I read something that she wrote and she seemed... I think it's her. She seemed pretty cool. Um, and I thought this was a good one. So, yeah. Uh, I'm quite interested in reading some stuff about... Oh, being sober. As a sober. So, that's that. Amazing. That looks good. Yeah. Mm. And then, other update. You, your arms coping? Yeah. Um, I finished this listen, last night, The Stars and the Blackness Between Them, and I loved it. Um, there's a little bit here which says, It's weird to see something written in a book that feels, to your, feels real to your heart. And that's how I felt. Mm. Felt real to my heart. So I don't know if this is for everyone, but it felt very much for me and it was kind of, I mean, I'm sure it's for lots of people, but it really specifically had so many things that I love in it. Um, you know, like lots about astrology, lots of kind of about magic, about veganism, about healing, about uh, friendship and queerness and um, black girls as well. And it was just wonderful. The dads are all cute in it. <laughs> what more do you want? No, we've never. Yeah, it's the first outfit of the day. Am I meant to be running? <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. So, it's the hollow. Yeah. Um, I really, really enjoyed the hollow. Yeah. Um, some of the language, uh, there, there was a bit of racist language in there. Yeah. Just as a warning. I think that's good to um, point out. Yeah. And it was very casual and it wasn't necessary. So it was, I, like we were discussing this, weren't we? Like, just take it out. Yeah, just change it? that word. Yeah, take it out. It's not necessary. It's not part no. of the plot. It's just no. kind of a throwaway. It's just like a different, yeah, yeah. So other Don't than that, I loved it. It was yeah. um, in, in places just slightly different from the adaptation, which I enjoyed as well. Yeah. Um, so yes, and um, I narrowed it down to three possibilities to read next, mm -hmm. and we've decided to go for The Vulture by Gil uh... Scott Heron. I don't think I'd ever <laughs> properly explained what the hollow, the plot of the hollow was, and I'm um, really, because I'm really bad at explaining. Is it about a hole in the ground? No, it's about mm -hmm. a, uh, like it's kind of like a country house murder. Okay. So and the place is called the Hollow. Yeah. Um, and they sort of gather together. I think like seven people for the weekend. Yeah. Classic. And um, there's a guy who's kind of like, he's kind of like sort of very masculine, vital kind of energy guy, but he's a, a bit of a player. Yeah. And he's got a wife that kind of worships him and can't see any of his faults. And yeah. He's got a mistress who's uh, kind of she's like a, a sculptor. Yeah. She's my favourite character. In yeah. Henrietta. Henrietta's yeah. great. And then she's got someone from he's got from someone from his past who's like a famous Hollywood actress. Yeah. So she comes down for the weekend briefly as well. She's living nearby. And then he gets shot. Oh cool. And Poirot's being invited to visit. And uh, he walks in and finds this kind of scenario where the guy's just been shot by the swimming pool. The wife's got the gun in her hand, and everyone's just kind of stood around, and he kind of thinks. Oh, it looks kind of like like a setup. It looks like a state, like a staged murder, and that's worth keeping in mind. Uh. Um, but it's really clever because she gets you thinking. Agatha does gets you thinking. You know, like lots of different options, and then mm -hmm. kind of just twists it, pulls you back mm -hmm. on yourself. Really clever. Cool. Really clever. Um, it was her first post-war novel, I think. So it was uh. like 1946, something like that. I'm just so doing a little bit of, of history there, Bob. Mid mid period Agatha Christie yeah and it's like, kind of like num Poirot number 20 something okay a... <laughs> <laughs> outfit of the day into so, a little dip shiny and her coat of many colours yeah this is dressed by Marissa Fasciore <laughs> yeah who has a YouTube channel we'll link her to the yeah. description <laughs> yeah and she has a hashtag um, what it was during the uh, pandemic her hashtag was hashtag dress up at home 
Now it's hashtag dress to impress. Yes, so I'm doing both. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got two more zooms. And then... Oh gosh, it's a lot of zooms. A lot of zooms and then a few bits to do because I'm off tomorrow so it just means I need to kind of yeah. wrap up the what I've been up to this week kind of thing. Oh yeah. It's hot isn't it Doc? Awesome. It is a really hot day. Yeah. No, I haven't done much reading today, um, other than this morning. So I sort of, I read the end of The Hollow by Christie and I thought that took up most of the morning. Um, and then for some reason, I don't know, we went out for a walk and it was really hot and I just felt really um, heavy headed. Today. I'm feeling a bit tired. Maybe oh, yeah. it's just hot. hot Maybe. Tired, nice. Yeah. And just that having sort of focused read for two days yeah. for me because you've yeah. been at work. And I've been at work today, so um, I haven't read much no, today no. either but i did um start this one such fun age kylie reed this is my um birthstone one because the birthstone was oh yeah wasn't it so i'm only on page 48 it's also the official reading rush book isn't it yes, yeah keep guessing yeah, yeah but that was coincidental mm -hmm. so i'm on page 48 and i am liking it Good. and apparently it's quite quick yeah. read so um which means i'm kind of way behind because in theory i should have finished this by today but i'm off from now until the end of reading rush so things are going to pick up <laughs> and what about you i don't know if things are going to pick up for me but i yeah. am um, enjoying very much uh, the vulture by gil scott heron um, i am very few pages into it but i'm really liking the writing style it's very um almost kind of sort of beat writing sort of so it's 1970 sort of New York um, gangland um, sort of drugs and murder um, I'm really liking the whole feel of it and the whole style of it um, so yeah I think it's a bit more dense than I was expecting so it might have slowed me down a bit um, but that's all right that's everything's okay. all right yeah yeah um, I'm gonna read a bit tonight but then I might just kind of cop out and watch something on TV Yeah, just to have a bit of a break but it'd be really nice to have Sean off for a few days now and we can just read and hang out yeah yeah, yeah. and tomorrow we have a library appointment yeah so we have to go and we have to make an appointment and come pick up books um so we need to do that tomorrow morning yeah so you can come with us yeah we'll take you along <laughs> um I usually just sit on the bench outside and wait for Sean to come out with her little yeah, bag so of books yeah so when I say take you with us you can't come in really yeah 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 um, but yeah, it's been a really hot, sweltery day today here. Um, I'm not sure what it's going to be like tomorrow. We're calling it a day for day three. three? Day three. Yeah. See you tomorrow, Charles. I think we're going to watch some Reading Rush videos oh, tonight as well. Behind. We need to catch up. We need to catch up on Heather. Yeah. What's she been yeah. up to? I don't yeah, know. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> 